what we're going to do is have a look at the air over hydraulics brakes on Bedford bus and what we've got here is the air master and that goes on to the hydraulic on the brake fluid master which is this guy here. I've just rebuilt this because I've had a few issues with it with fluid leaking out the back here from the back seal. Hopefully I'll fix that now but how do these two go together? I'll show you. Basically air ram piston here that comes out when you put your foot on the brakes. Air is fed in here and here. This is petitioned. There's a little bit of oil leaking out of here which is good because I know they're well lubricated. This is the brake stroke meter that tells you when you've got issues with your brake master. The stroke meter sticks out too far after you do a brake application you know your brakes are not very healthy and need probably a rebuild in here because you're losing pressure anyway this guy goes on to here like that and that is the assembly pretty simple really when it doesn't leak so what we'll do is we'll pull this apart because I want to see how much brake fluid has got into here and it can leak in there through here, through this little hole down here. The problem with getting brake fluid in here is brake fluid attracts moisture and it'll cause the master air cylinder to pit or rust. So I'm going to undo these screws, pop the end off, give it a clean, give it some new oil. Okay, we'll strip down this air brake master. First thing you should do is mark it with a pen so you know the order it goes back in together. Because if you get these two drums out of alignment by one set of bolts, it can be a bit frustrating when you get back underneath the old bus and go to put it back together and you have one of those, oh, cock moments. Right, so I'm going to loosen off these and we'll come back to you shortly because this will just be boring. Anyway, you know what I mean. These will all need loosening off all the way around. Right, we've got the first stage part, so we need to get into this tub because that's where the brake fluid's leaked in through here. But this is the first one. As you can see, this is the bottom of it, and there's no pitting in here. And I run hydraulic or dex, dex 3 in here. And there's a felt rope in here, which you can just see there, which I soak in hydraulic fluid or um, transmission, DEX3. They're meant to use, I think it's Netsford oil or something like that, but I don't think they have that anymore. And there's also a lip seal in there, and you can see the oil in there. It's come out of my rope seal, so I'll give us a little bit of a swirl out and put some new fluid in there. I run these quite oily. Most people don't. Most people have never pulled one apart. So that transmission fluid, be it a little bit dirty, but that's good. It stops things from rusting. If you maintain stuff, it'll last a lifetime. So what I mean by Dex 3 automatic transmission fluid. Any transmission fluid would probably do. This stuff is red. And what we do is we will soak the rope in there. And that's what will lubricate our cylinder housing. So how does this work, I hear you say? Well, it's quite simple. Compressed air comes in through the hole here, into the cylinder. We've got this guy here, which has a single acting seal on it, which is this guy. This goes in here. And as the air is compressed, it pushes the cylinder forward, which pushes onto the end of this. This is spring-loaded 
which then comes forward and this shaft here goes right through and in here there's the same deal as in here another cylinder could be twice the power and pushes this pin out which pushes onto the brake master easy as that so I'll clean this up and we'll open this up and see how much fluids in there from the brakes so we've lubed up the sash cord which sits in the cylinder and it lubricates it so if this is the bottom of the cylinder here we want to run the sash cord around with the gap and the cord running to the top why do we do that well probably because i like it that way also theory it has a wiping action cleaning action along the bottom where all the rubbish is okay and we'll drop this guy into here now done good oh yep so that bit's taken care of we'll move on to this guy now so to get this housing off the, this casting there's actually an o-ring in there which makes it a little bit tricky anyway brute force and ignorance or you can just use a little screwdriver what I want to see what's in there so once again this is the other part of the cylinder this is the cylinder seal or cup seal single act bang and this is the sash cord which we lubricate and this is the sealing o-ring which seals between here and the housing here to stop air leaking out a bit of a rubbish in there I'll clean that out in a minute so how much That's the brake stroke meter there, which is pushed against by the piston face here. And as you can see, so there's a bit of rust happening in there, just around the end there, and that is because of, guess what, all my hydraulic um, brake fluid leaking in there, because it comes leaks into here through this little hole down into the cylinder and rest down here by the little exit hole here so anyway I'll give us a clean out put some Dex 3 in here re-oil the sash cord and throw it back together and it should be good for another 10 years interesting little observation here you can see where the air cylinder has been moving on the housing here and how much it moves so this guy has been moving in here and it's the start point is here and when the brakes fully applied it stops here so it's only a very short amount of movement and you can see the band through there so it goes from here to here and that's why if we correlate that to the brake stroke meter brake stroke meter fully in and when it's had a brake application it moves out about that much which is about the same distance as we see the piston moving here so if your pistons are moving all the way down and you've got something like that that means you've got problems because your hydraulic part of it either has no fluid or it's leaking fluid and by hydraulic I mean this guy here is leaking fluid if your brake stroke meter is moving too much or needs bleeding and that's where this point pushes in here so I've just gone and put some transmission fluid in there all nice and shiny it'll stop any rust happening I've got the cord soaking so I'll put the cord back in here and reassemble it. So we'll put this back together now, and we've got our pencil mark down here. Oh, cord's falling out. And we want to line it up with our other pencil mark. So 
two pencil marks and holes now line up. Line the bolt hole. Makes it easier if we get this right now. There we go. Squeeze it together. So the seal's now engaged. And now we can put the other half on it. Bolt it back together. this point at post check that you haven't left anything on the bench. Alright, we'll bolt that up and we'll get it back on the bus. We'll give those a hand tighten, make sure they're all good, and we'll put it back together. So that is the Air Brake Master. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for something else. Hopefully, if you manage to get through this and you're not bored, there's something definitely wrong with you. Welcome to the club. Ever heard of an oil rag restoration? Oily rag, give it a rub around. Parts wreckers love doing this. Look at that, looks brand new. Is it new? Yeah, mate, never been used. Fall for it every time. <laughs>